So we're here for Eat Lafayette in partner with the Louisiana Seafood Promotion Board, the annual Louisiana Seafood Cook-Off, where we, we crown the king or queen of seafood that will represent Louisiana for the next year, promoting the great seafood here in Louisiana. Well, it's grown not only in, in publicity, but if you'll notice, several of the chefs here that have won in the past got TV shows, open new restaurants. The publicity they get promoting Louisiana and the seafood has helped their restaurant, their town, their city, as people travel all over to go eat at their facility. So hopefully we'll bring some new light to another great chef, another great restaurant city in Louisiana, where people will go to eat that famous food by the win of the seafood cook-off. We're the first or second producer of all kind of seafood. I think we're first in everything and second only in fish to Alaska. So we are a great producer of seafood and there's no better seafood in the world. So when we can highlight that great seafood, support our fishermen, the crawfishes, the alligator farmers, all of the great uh, seafood and, and things that come out the waters here in Louisiana in conjunction with the locally owned Louisiana restaurants that people come from all over the world to visit to get that great food. It's just a win-win situation. We're expecting record crowds tonight. The competition is going to be tough. We're excited. I am cooking. It's gonna. Uh, it's a. I call it a seafood festival. It's uh, fried catfish on a bed of rice, and it's gonna have uh, oyster and crawfish sauce that's gonna go on top of it. And uh, it's a seafood festival with like four festivals in one: the meat oyster festival, the Brobridge crawfish festival, and the Washington catfish festival, and the international rice festival. How'd you come up with the idea for this? Uh, I, I'm a big festival person, and you know I love all the festivals in the state of Louisiana. Uh, so I was like, let's just try it. <laughs> Tell us, uh, how long have you been a chef and how did you get interested? Uh, I've been a chef for 25 years now. Uh, started out at a, as a dishwasher at an early age and uh, loved to cook. You know, my, my parents, my grandparents, they all cook all from right here in Louisiana. So uh, it's fun, it's exciting, especially to see people, you know, are excited and love you know, when they eat something good, they makes them happy, you know. What's it like to cook with Louisiana seafood? Uh, it's probably one of the best things around. Uh, you know, Louisiana is very unique for us to have so many different kinds of seafood that we have uh, compared to anywhere else in the United States. What's your advice for the chef at home when it comes to cooking Louisiana seafood? It all depends on what kind you're going to cook for sure, uh, but don't ever overcook it. That's the number one thing. Yeah, we're doing good. We, we really practiced hard and kind of got our... We're doing a summer uh, speckled trout bouillie base. How'd you come up with the idea for this? Uh, we wanted to think of something a little um, a little lighter for the summertime, right? And so we got the, the bouillie base is a little on the lighter side, uh, speckled trout, heirloom tomatoes in season. What's it like to cook with Louisiana seafood? Uh, it's great. Uh, the diversity of it. I mean, there's shrimp, crawfish, crab, all the fish. Um, it's all... Very, very delicious seafood. Tell us about your journey to become a chef. Uh, I started in kitchens as a dishwasher in 1999 um, and just kind of worked my way up, worked my way around, um, and here we are today. What's your recommendation to the chef at home when it comes to cooking Louisiana seafood? Cook what you like. Uh, use fresh ingredients. Um, and just don't overdo it. And we've got uh, agave. Who of course uh, tonight I'm doing a pan-seared redfish over a tomato polenta with seared green beans topped with crawfish and a creole mustard cream sauce finished with basil oil. How long have you been a chef? Ooh, about 20 years. <laughs> yeah. How did you come up with the idea for this dish? Um, you know, I've just done kind of all the other, like the different elements separately, and I put them all together, and they just really worked well. What's it like to cook with Louisiana seafood? Oh, it's great. You know, you get to you get the freshest of the fresh. Uh, you have great options. Like, I love it. How would you get interested in becoming a chef? Oof. Um, so I guess I was, I've always worked in restaurants, and I was just curious about working in the back of the house, so I made the transfer. What's your recommendation to the chef at home when it comes to cooking Louisiana seafood? Uh, be patient with it. Don't try to rush it. You know, take your time uh, and just put some love into it. Corey's always talking about how he wants to be a judge, man. We got to make that happen, bro. So we're doing something we call a crepe touffee, uh, but it's kind of like a Cantonese crawfish etouffee over crepes stuffed with uh, jasmine rice. 
cooked in a dashi. How'd you come up with the idea for this? We uh, we brainstormed for about a week trying a bunch of different uh, recipes and finally that's the one that uh, stuck with us. Tell us, how did you get interested in becoming a chef? So uh, originally I'm a brewmaster. Uh, I brew beer for Valletesh Brewing and we opened a kitchen about three years ago and uh, we started doing Italian inspired you know, Cajun dishes. Tell us, what's it like to cook with Louisiana seafood? It's amazing. It brings me back. I was raised in Louisiana. My grandparents mostly harvested their own seafood, but uh, Louisiana seafood tastes different than anywhere else, and it just reminds you of home. What's your recommendation to the chef at home when it comes to cooking Louisiana seafood? Get as fresh as you can. We're cooking a, a seared speckled trout with a fresh crab and micro green salad. Some Louisiana pecan popcorn rice, and a nice pan sauce to go along with it. How'd you come up with the idea for this? Uh, you know, just trying to keep everything as local as possible, celebrate Louisiana seafood and, and other products from the state. You know, there's just so much bounty here. Why, why go far and go elsewhere for our food? What's it like cooking with Louisiana seafood? It's the best. It's, it's flavorful. There's so much variety. Um, and there's so many different things you can do with it. How many years have you been a chef and how long did it take to become a chef? About 15 years. Um, and took me probably about, you know, since I was 15, so about, you know, 10 years or so. What do you like the most about being a chef? Uh, I enjoy just working with the, the different foods and flavors and, you know, people it brings me in contact with. What's your advice for the chef at home when it comes to cooking Louisiana seafood? Just go what's for the freshest, you know, let the seafood speak for itself. Um, you know, just find what's fresh and in season and have fun. Three, two, one. Oh, Whoa, wow. hey. That was dramatic, y'all. Oh, pretty good, man. Did y'all practice that? Uh, so we're uh, doing Japanese umakase, so we're doing actually five different things. Um, doing a crawfish uh, miso, uh, a play on tempura, steam cobia, um, we're doing a soft shell and jumbo lump crab sushi roll, and then a grilled uh, local oyster with Japanese A5 wagyu beef from Mazataki, Japan. How'd you come up with the idea for this? So my father was stationed in Japan when I was young, uh, so we always would go to Mazataki restaurants, and that's what actually, if you were to say what is the dish of Japan, it would be uh, omakase. How do you blend that in with Louisiana seafood? Well, I mean, it's all about the same thing, tradition and, and culture. Um, the thing I like about it is Japanese cuisine is so clean to take ingredients that we catch in our waters, our seafood is just as great as any seafood in the world. And to be able to elevate it with simplicity just shows that what we have in the back door of our, our waters is something that even Chicago and New York can't even do. Tell us a little bit about your journey to become a chef. So I worked at Commander's Palace in 1993. Um, then I worked uh, in Chicago for Charlie Trotter for three years. Uh, I worked for Morimoto in Philadelphia. Uh, and I worked at a number of places in Birmingham, uh, Chicago, New York, Spain, Italy. I've been doing this for quite some time. I actually won the Mississippi Seafood King in 2017. What's your advice to the chef at home when it comes to cooking up Louisiana seafood? I mean, it's all about just integrity of the ingredients. You know, sometimes something as simple as crawfish doesn't need a lot maybe just a little bit because it's already fresh it already has its own flavor so it's capture, capturing the, uh, the product that you're using and not masking it with too many ingredients. I am going to be doing a brown butter cobia with citrus risotto and a lump crab ceviche. How'd you come up with the idea for that? Um, we just try to use things that are that are local Louisiana seafood and I really wanted to do something that was that combined the citrusy and the fatty of the brown butter with the ceviche and then the citrus risotto as well. What's it like cooking with Louisiana seafood? It's great. I mean, there's such a great variety. There's, I mean, you got everything from your freshwater fish, your crawfish, to all the saltwater stuff. I mean, you really can't go wrong with anything Louisiana seafood. Tell us about your journey to become a chef. Um, I started in 2001 as a caterer, and then, uh, you know, people would ask us, when are you going to open a restaurant? When are you going to open a restaurant? And I'd say, never. I don't want to work that hard. And we've since opened two. Um, so we kind of uh, transitioned from catering to restaurant during COVID when catering went away. So we decided to, to move into that and open a restaurant during a global pandemic. So, What's your advice to the chef at home when it comes to cooking up Louisiana seafood? I would say just don't be afraid to try new stuff. I mean, the only way you're, you're going to get things right is if you make a few mistakes. All right, we're talking.
Today I'm doing, um, I came up with a little dish, I'm calling it the crab trap. It's going to be a crawfish stuffed soft shell crab. It's going to be served on top of a pota potato and crawfish pancake and I'm topping it with a lump crab meat cream sauce. How did you come up with the idea for this dish? Just, I, I have a love of doing things with crab and I was just wanting to do something different so you know, after thinking about it a little bit, we decided to come up with this one. What's it like to cook with Louisiana seafood? Oh, there's there's no better seafood there there is. It's amazing. Yeah, I've grown up in the bayou. I've always had the freshest in, uh, seafood around, and the, the quality, the taste. It, there's none better. What's it take to win a competition like this? Well, this is my first time in a competition like this, so we're gonna uh, go ahead with it and see what it t what it takes. Um, my feelings are it, it takes a lot of preparation, uh, time management, knowing your dish, knowing your, um, where everything is, and, and just going ahead and go with it. What's your recommendation to the chef at home when it comes to cooking Louisiana seafood? My, my recommendation is just go with it. I mean, it really is. It's, it's the best. It's hard to mess up good, good quality ingredients, especially if you get it fresh like we, like we can down here. I'm excited to see what ends up happening, man. Good job, brother. Let's go. Good take We're going to do a, a potato crusted uh, soft shell crab with some white wine poached oysters and a vermouth glazed uh, Louisiana Gulf shrimp and a little dollop of Cajun bowfin caviar on top. All Louisiana, all Gulf caught, all local seafood, very fresh. How'd you come up with the idea for this dish? I wanted to use at least three or four components from Louisiana in this dish, um, not to mention the produce that we use that's locally, but I wanted to use at least three or four seafoods in the dish, and so that's how we came up with this combination. Tell us, how, did you, how many years have you been a chef and how did you get interested? I've been in the restaurant business for over 30 years, and I've been a chef for 20 years. Um, I just, I worked in the front of the house for a while and then I really enjoyed the culinary aspect of the restaurant industry, so I wound up going ahead and becoming a chef and working in the kitchen and working my way up the ranks and then eventually becoming an executive chef for the last 15 years. What's your recommendation of the chef at home when it comes to cooking Louisiana seafood? Well, Louisiana seafood is so flavorful and it's harvested and caught so close to us that you really don't need to do much to it. Oftentimes it's a very simple preparation with just a very simple sauce like a lemon butter and let the, sh the seafood shine through. You don't want to mask any of those awesome local flavors. And they will happily, happily love to see y'all in their establishments this summer. We got a real fun dish today. We're, uh, we're going to highlight the soft shell crawfish. There's actually one gentleman in the state that, uh, actually in the world, that is actually licensed to do it. So we went out and visited his farm and saw the entire process. And we're just going to highlight this very unique, very Louisiana ingredient in a uh, deconstructed shrimp, corn, and crawfish, uh, soft shell crawfish bisque. What is, makes it so unique? Uh, it's only in Louisiana. And uh, that's what we do. Tell us, uh, uh, what's it like to cook with Louisiana seafood? Oh, I mean, it's great. Uh, I moved away for a little while and it made it even better. I realized what I was missing and that's when I really started cooking. That's when I left because the food was just better down here. Tell us about your journey to become a chef. Well, I actually graduated from LSU and I started out as a banker. And uh, just that, you know, desk job and all that was uh, not a great fit for me personally. I'm kind of active and uh, just gravitated towards the kitchen and cooking and I've always enjoyed it and tried to make a living off of it. How's it going so far? It's going well. I'm excited. I love what I do. Get up every day and, you know, just around by great people. What's your advice to the chef at home when it comes to cooking Louisiana seafood? Just keep cooking. Get good ingredients. Buy local. Buy fresh. And enjoy it. For those uh, people just walking up and joining us, what's the plate going to be tonight? What do you, uh, what We're doing a uh, trio of soft shell tacos uh, featuring um, three different types of Louisiana soft shell, one with shrimp, one with soft shell crawfish, and one with soft shell crab. How'd you come up with the idea for this? Um, well, we find that there's a lot of excitement behind soft shell shrimp and soft shell crawfish just because uh, a lot of people don't really know about them or never got to try them. So uh, kind of started with that and then I figured um, tacos are a good fun and um, recognizable medium that it would allow us to um, put you know three different types of seafood out and what's it like to cook with Louisiana seafood um, it's great it's uh, it's always available wherever where we go down here in South Louisiana it's there's a wide variety um, 
it's great that you can just get out there and catch it yourself if you if you so desire. And um, yeah. tell us uh, about uh, your journey to become a chef. Um, started when I was about 13, just kind of cooking at home with my grandma. Uh, decided to go to culinary school. Um, worked in all of the, uh, the the best restaurants in my area, which is Lafouche Parish and uh, neighboring Terrebonne Parish. Um, spent some time in Chicago and um, joined the Spars team uh, back in 2008, I believe. And um, when Chef Min Lee behind me was able to open up his restaurant, I took over his position as the head chef of Spars. What's your advice to the chef at home when it comes to cooking Louisiana seafood? Um, get a get a great Cajun cookbook and just pick out pick start with page one and start cooking. Today we're cooking a uh, stuffed snapper collar. It's stuffed with crawfish and crab meat, and a little bit of green onion. It's served over a crab fat rice with a pepper jelly glaze. It's going to be delicious. How'd you come up with the idea for this? I love all things fried. And I think pepper jelly is probably one of the best condiments on the planet. And by uh, combining my love of those two things, and you can never go wrong with jumbo lump crab meat, it just seemed like a perfect combination. How long have you been cooking, and how long did it take you to become a chef? I think we've all been cooking in South Louisiana since we could stand on a stool next to Momo or Popo. But uh, I've been cooking my whole life, and I've been a chef for the last about 10 years. What's your advice to the chef at home when it comes to cooking Louisiana seafood? Be fearless, enjoy it. It's a beautiful product, let it shine. special thing about Louisiana, it's their people. And they told me this story about this crazy place in Lafayette called Randy's. And they said we sent a busload of seniors down to Louisiana and they were watching these crazy people dancing. And the lady saw them looking and she went over and dragged them out their chair and taught them the Zydeco dance. She said that busload of seniors said that was the best trip of their life. And they went back seven more times. Now tonight, I don't know what we're going to do without Randall's, but I want to give a special proclamation, and I'm not going to bore you by reading this, to a great, great ambassador for the state of Louisiana. And those record-breaking years in tourism because people like this man. This man put his money, his time, his life, and his passion into opening his doors to the world. And that's why this city is the friendliest city in the world. Thank you so much, my friend. God bless you. One of the best parts of my, my job besides this is I'm over the state parks. And if you haven't been to a state park lately, shame on you. We got glamping, we got bike trails. And tonight, I'm a little throw a little something extra. For first, second, and third place, they will get a four-night stay at any cabin, any glamping at any state park, anywhere in Louisiana, courtesy of the state park system. So a little extra flavor. Yeah, we like it. We like it. Hey, that's yeah, sweetened the pot a little bit, right? So we'd, uh, we'd like to thank our judges, C.C. Satchery. Come on up here, C.C. We have Chef Neely Frince. Come on up here. Hey, you're right. Chef Duke Chase. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> chef Cody Carroll. Yeah. And last but not least, our chef ref, Keith Prince. Show you right. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'll hold my hand up to you. All right, are you ready? This is uh, third place, everybody. All right, here we go. <laughs> David Dickinson. Right, baby. Tsunami of Baton Rouge. I love it. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. Here we go. Second, second place. place. Second place, Chef Amy Sins. Thank you. 
What a great job. What a great job. Before we announce first place, I want to say thank you to my co-host, Gerald. He's the man. Y'all know him. He's the personality. He brings that energy. Thank and I'd you be remiss, so much. ladies and gentlemen, y'all make some noise for my man, Corey Barr. How about Corey doing a great job for us tonight, right? I love it, man. I'm so, it's such an honor. But here we go. Here we this go, This is baby. what's important. Uh-oh. This is it. Here we go. We're, we're get, we're get. That's a drum roll. Amanda Causey! Come on, man. Oh, my goodness. Let's go, baby. Whoa. <laughs> I know mom is so excited. There it is. There's the confetti. Good job, Amanda. Let's go. Oh. Here we go, baby. Yeah. Come on, bro. All right, Amanda. Yes, that's what it's all about. And don't forget, in August, she's going to be competing for the crown of either, you know, queen of American seafood. That's it, baby. Let's go. What's your reaction when you name winner? Uh, I was blown away. I was, I was surprised. You know, I just, I didn't think I was going to get it. I thought I might, you know, get in the top two or three, but I was not expecting number one. What did you cook tonight? So tonight I did a tomato polenta with a pan seared red drum, uh, sauteed green beans, and crawfish in a creole mustard cream sauce. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, so originally I'm from Arizona. I've traveled around the states quite a bit. I went over to Europe and I traveled over in Europe for about eight years and that's where I went to school. I actually learned how to cook Italian food from an English guy in Ireland. What was your reaction when you were named second place? I'm excited. This is an honor to be in the top two with this many amazing chefs from Louisiana. What did you cook tonight? Tonight I cooked a snapper collar stuffed with crab meat and crawfish and served it over a crab fat rice with a saffron butter sauce and pep uh, pepper jelly. Oh, I, I think it was a, a great play. I think everybody did a lot of great food. I mean, it's, it, it goes by points, and I think that I delivered what I knew was the best dish that I can and maybe did a little bit more than I needed to, but very happy with the results. It's kind of like the Iron Chef kitchen where everybody's in there uh, watching and cheering and having a good time, and we add a few wonderful Louisiana elements that make it something special for the winners. The big thing about promoting Louisiana seafood is it's just not Louisiana, right? This seafood goes all over the country, all over the world, and us being able to, to promote it like this locally, to be able to have businesses and restaurants promote it worldwide, is, it's, it's, un, it's unheard of. This is a great event to have, and it's something that I, I look forward to uh, being able to help more often. So, Well, I tell you what, the competition was incredible. The dishes were all great. Tom, I'm just so excited that we've got a great uh, We've got a great ambassador to promote this year all over the world, promoting the great seafood of Louisiana. They'll do a great job. And the next stop is New Orleans. Absolutely. In August, they'll be up against some great chefs from all over the country. I've invited every lieutenant governor to send a chef here. The first 14 that sign up will be in the competition against our winner.